I'm just going to be talking about my top holy grail mac products and i'm going to include things not just like the shades and stuff that i like but i'm going to include the formulas that i like and the things that i think should go in any makeup artist kit these are like holy grail staple items mac is one of my all-time favorite brands i love what mac stands for i love their creativity and all the new products that they're coming out with all the time there are always new fun limited edition collections coming out. So um, I love MAC and the makeup products are reliable and amazing and there's something for everybody there. If you're a makeup artist, you need many different concealers for many different issues. I like their concealer palettes because they come with four different shades of concealer plus two correctors and they have several different ones with different skin tones. And so this is amazing. This is a staple item if you are a makeup artist, you need one of these in your kit. Another concealer option from MAC that I think is a holy grail product are the Pro Longwear Concealers. And these are great for the under eye because they don't settle into fine lines and creases and they're also brightening. Not only that, but they are Pro Longwear products. That means they're gonna last all day long. Even if you are sweating or crying, these are very difficult to just wear off just by wearing them. I use Pro Longwear Concealers on many of my makeup clients and it always looks great in photographs, it looks great in person. You really just can't go wrong with this. Next up is MAC Fix Plus, and this should be a staple in everyone's makeup collection. This is a multi-use product. If you have dry skin, you can use it as a setting spray to get that dewy finish. And I'm oily, but I like to spray it all over my face. And then what I'll do is take a beauty blender and I'll spray my face and then take the beauty blender and stipple everything on like this. And what that will do is take all of the powders that I've put on my face, like blush, bronzer, highlighter, setting powder, things like that. And it's going to make it absorb into the skin and make it look more natural and not make it look powdery because powdery makeup is what makes you look cakey. So by spraying this and then stippling the beauty blender, you're gonna lose that cakey look to your makeup. Not only that, but you can use this to intensify eyeshadows and pigments and your highlight. It's just an amazing product and it has vitamin E in it. So it's very good for your skin and it also helps to reduce redness in your skin as well. So it's a bit of an anti-inflammatory. Love Fix Plus, everyone needs this. This is my MAC lip liner collection. <laughs> MAC lip liners are my absolute favorite. Even though they are a pencil, they are very creamy. There are so many different colors for you to choose from. And I'm gonna go over the four that I believe are staple shades for everybody to own. The first one is this pink one. It is called Rosy Rim, and hopefully this was not limited edition, but I just got this last year. It is the perfect pink lip liner to go underneath a pink lipstick. Now, when it comes to nude lip pencils from MAC, there are many different ones to choose from, and everybody has their own favorite, but my favorite is Subculture. It is a nude, but it's also a mauve, it's also a peach. It can pass for any of those. It goes under so many different lipsticks. This is just very, very versatile. So Subculture is my favorite nude lip pencil. My favorite dark lip liner is Night Moth. I like it better than Vino, which is another really popular one, but Night Moth is actually what I have underneath this Ariana Grande Viva Glam lipstick that I'm wearing right now, and it's just, it's perfect. You can trace it on lightly to make it not quite so deep, or you can use a firm touch and it'll go on very, very deep. Anybody that's wearing a red lipstick needs a good red lip liner, and my favorite is Cherry. It's just a perfect true red shade. It's wonderful. It's just wonderful. Those are my four staple colors. Another product that everybody needs in their life is MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural, and this is a luminous powder, and it is perfect for setting the under eye because it's a very sheer finish, but it still gives that luminous appearance. It's just amazing. Um, you can dust this all over your entire face to set your foundation and you'll look glowing. This is, I think, the best setting powder that you can get from MAC. Another MAC product that is essential, but just came into my life in the last year is this Natural Radiance Primer. I am obsessed with primers. I love trying new primers. And this one is incredible because it's called Natural Radiance because it's supposed to give like this natural glow and it has crushed pearl pigments in it. So it really does give you a glow. Like it, it has shiny reflective pigments in it, but it's not super glittery like the e.l.f. one that I talk about all the time. I love that one, but it's glittery. This is not nearly to that extent of shimmeriness on your face. This just gives a beautiful glow. Um, I do find that you can see 
the effects of this better on camera than you can in person so i'm not sure what's what's up with that <laughs> but um i love this i have the yellow one and there is a yellow and a pink one so good stuff one of my all-time favorite primers Another lip product that is an essential for a makeup artist is the Pro Longwear Lip Glass. Now, I love these because it's basically like a liquid lipstick, um, not liquid to matte lipstick. It is still very glossy, but let me swatch this for you so you can see the amount of pigment. These glosses have so much pigment and they stay forever. I love to use these on bridal clients because it's gonna last throughout the ceremony. I think they have 15 or so different colors from the Pro Longwear Lip Glass line and they're all very wearable. They're all really nice, normal person colors. They're not extremely deep like the one that I have on now. They're not super gray, things like that. They have normal person colors, but if you don't like sticky lip gloss, you will not like the way this feels. Because it is so sticky, that's what causes it to last longer, but it just, it's not super duper comfortable on the lips, but if you're going to a photo shoot or something like that, you need this to last a long time, then this is a good formula. Another staple of MAC item is lipsticks. I have 25 MAC lipsticks and all different variations of shades and colors and formulas. There are multiple formulas for you to choose from, anywhere from sheer to matte to bright to luster to frost. There are so many different formulas of lipsticks, and I think MAC lipsticks are my favorite formula of regular lipstick. Now I did want to go over a couple shades of lipsticks. I can't go over lipsticks without telling you my favorite shades, right? This is my favorite to use on bridal clients. This is the shade Please Me and it is a matte formula. What I like to do is put this on and then I'll take a lip gloss that the bride wants to wear and I'll put that on top of this. But because it's a matte formula, it'll last them a long time. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch this for you here. This is Please Me. It's a beautiful, just true pink shade. And I also like the shade Blankety, which is a almost a cool tone nude. And you would think that that might make you look a little washed out, but this is surprisingly beautiful. So let me go ahead and swatch Blankety for you here. And then also Faux. Faux is like a, almost a mauve nude color here. So you see that right there below Blankety. Blankety is an amplified formula, by the way. Amplified just basically means there's more pigment. It's more noticeable, it's brighter, it's more intense. And Faux, the one that I showed you right below that, this is a satin, and so you're still gonna get a good amount of color, but it also has a bit of a sheen to it, and it's a bit glossy. Now, MAC has a ton of red lipsticks for you to choose from, but my favorite, I think, is Relentlessly Red. It has a little bit of a blue undertone, but this is just a good vintage red. This is like a pinup red right here. It's a beautiful color, and it is a matte formula, and they actually call it a retro matte. Another staple MAC product is Soft and Gentle. This is a highlighter, and it has been around for a long time, <laughs> years, and this is just absolutely gorgeous. This works on everybody. This is actually what I have on my for my highlight today and it's just a nice glowy pop. You can make it natural, you can make it intense. This is a perfect highlighter. It is one of their mineralized products. It's a universal shade of a highlighter so it's gonna look good on everybody. You can do an entire bridal party do all of their makeup and use the same highlighter on everybody because it's very, very versatile. Now, I do wanna give a little love to a couple MAC foundations, and a lot of people have problems with MAC foundations, like the Studio Sculpt and the Studio Fix Fluid. A lot of people claim that they break them out really bad, which, you know, I could see that. They're, they're thick foundations, and if you are building it up to full coverage, then you're gonna have a lot of makeup on your face that's gonna clog your pores and you can break out from that. But MAC has so many options for foundation anymore that you can find one that you actually really do enjoy. And I'm gonna show you my favorite three. The first one is the Face and Body Foundation. This is like 80% water, so it's sheer coverage, but you can build it up. Not only that, but there are like 30 colors to choose from. There's so many different shades of this foundation. You will find your shade in this foundation. Not everybody's gonna like this because it does give a dewy finish because it has so much water in the formula, but this is really, really nice. This is kind of like the same coverage as a tinted moisturizer. I really love this. It's not gonna clog your pores at all. It looks natural, it looks nice. It just gives you that good, even complexion. And just in case you're interested, this does not have any SPF in it. Now, I do wanna to touch really quickly about SPF and foundations because it is a very common misconception. People think that SPF causes white face in flash photography. It is not SPF that causes the flashback. It is cheap fillers, talc, uh, just cheap products, and mica in your foundations, your concealers, your powders, things like that. It is not SPF. 
I have high-end foundations that contain high SPF and they don't cause that white flashback in flash photography because it is not the SPF that causes that, it is fillers in the foundation. So cheaper foundations with a lot of fillers are gonna cause that. Um, if you use like a translucent setting powder and then take a picture of your face and you have white, it's because they use a lot of fillers in that powder. It's not just the face powder, it's fillers because it's cheaper for them. So cheaper products cause that flashback, it's not the SPF. Moving on to the next foundation I wanna talk about. This is MAC Match Master, and this is a demi matte finish. It's really good for people with oily skin. So if, if you are a makeup artist with a client with very oily skin, Match Master is amazing. It stays matte for a very long time. Not only that, but they call it Match Master because there are so many shades available. A lot of times with MAC foundations like the Studio Fix, they're, the shades tend to be either on the very pink side or the very yellow side. But the Match Master, there are a lot of neutral shades as well. So for this one, the only thing is they don't have a lot of shades for very fair people. Um, this is shade 2.0. That's almost as low as it gets, and this is too dark for me right now. So um, that's the only downfall with this foundation is not a lot of fair shades to choose from. The other foundation that I want to talk about is the Studio Fix Fluid. I have this in two different shades, a lighter one and a medium one, and I love this. It's full coverage. It looks amazing. As long as I don't wear it all the time, I'm not going to break out. This does have SPF 15 and it's just a really nice high coverage foundation. It does look like makeup though. This is not a natural finish at all. This is very thick foundation and it looks like you are wearing makeup. So if that's the look that you want to go for or your client wants to go for, then pick the Studio Fix Fluid. Another essential product is the MAC Chromographic Pencil and this is in the shade NC15 NW20. I have several of these because I use them on myself, I use them on my clients, I absolutely love this pencil. Okay, so it's a nude pencil, so you can use it in the waterline, but you can also use it to clean up your lipstick once you apply it. If you've kind of gone out of the edges, you can just use this to clean that up. You can clean up your brows with it. It's amazing, and the formula is very, very creamy, and you can blend it with a brush or your finger. It's just wonderful. I almost forgot to talk about my favorite brushes from MAC. These. Are incredible okay let me tell you this is very new to me this is the mac 196 it is their new kabuki foundation brush and you can see it's angled has a little round tip love this brush it is incredible one of the best kabuki brushes on the market today it's it barely absorbs any makeup at all when you are applying it so you're going to get all of the foundation that you put on your face is going to stay there it's not going to get absorbed into this brush i could probably use this brush for two weeks every single day before i needed to clean it I think it was $35 for this brush, and it does not make sense to buy a bunch of these for your kit unless you get that 40% MAC Pro discount. So, But I would definitely recommend everybody buying one of these for themselves. Another brush that's incredible and has changed my life is the 135. This is a bronzer brush. Obviously, there's bronzer all over it. This is just an amazing brush. It just puts it right where it needs to go. It's goat hair, so it's a sheer application. You're not going to come out looking like a new Balumpa. Love this brush. Also, one of my most favorite blush brushes of all time is from MAC. This is the 168, another goat hair brush. It's angled. It's just the perfect size to get your blush on without screwing it up, without getting too much, without getting too low. And the bristles are soft and wonderful and high quality. I've never lost a single hair out of this brush, I don't think. And then finally, my holy grail flat eye brush is the 242. This little guy is amazing for packing on color on your lid. I don't have a better brush than this for that. I use this as often as I can. It's just amazing. You want to get that perfect shimmery lid, that super duper intense glittery lid. This is your go-to brush. This is definitely something that I would stock up on for your kit because I really don't think that there is a better flat brush than this. I've never found one and I have many, many in my collection. So holy grail right here. And finally, the last product that I want to talk about is MAC blushes. These are some of my favorites of all time. There are a bazillion shades to choose from. You can put them in pro palettes like this. Let me show you here. I have to be very delicate with this because I've broken all of these right here several times. I have used alcohol to put them back together, but then I drop this again and they break again. So these are my MAC blushes here and then these two right here. MAC blushes are amazing. They last forever, especially if you get the pro longwear ones like these. This is Cantaloupe and Rosy Outlook, two of my all-time favorite blushes. MAC blushes are just amazing. There is a color for every look. There is a color for every person. There are mattes and shimmers and bronzy blushes, cool blushes. 
so many to choose from. MAC blushes are just amazing. With my oily skin, blush tends to fade on me pretty easily, but MAC blushes do not fade. They just don't on me. Also, one last tip about these palettes. It is cheaper to get the little pans to put in these palettes than it is to buy in the little cases. So if you buy in the cases, it's a couple dollars more. So if you're planning on getting a bunch, get the ones to put in this palette. Not only does it save space, but it saves money. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys found this informative and helpful. And if there's anything you think I forgot, leave that down in the comments. Um, I feel like I gathered up everything that matters to me for Mac. Let me know your Mac essentials down in the comments below. I'm interested to hear, or maybe discover some new products. But that is it. Thank you so much for watching. And please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. I'm a man of